Okay, so if you've got tightness there, you should feel that straight away. But rule of thumb, which I always tell clients is, if you're feeling the foam roller and it's brutal, then you definitely need to be on it. Hi guys, so thanks for checking in. So today what we're going to talk about is a common issue amongst runners. It's called a phalgus collapse of the knee. Basically, in simplified terms, what a phalgus collapse of the knee is, your knee, your knee, whenever you hit the ground, it jerks inwards. Now, it's very common um, if you're the type of runner that you're maybe feeling your knees hit off each other or as you're running, your feet are maybe flying out to the side. This is all to do with a phalgus collapse of the knee. Now, unfortunately, a lot of runners that do have it do nothing about it because one, they don't know how to rectify the problem. They don't know how to strengthen those muscles and make themselves a better all around healthier runner. So if you're interested in this issue or if you have this issue, keep watching and I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, so what exactly is a phalgus collapse of the knee and why might you have it? So basically what a phalgus collapse of the knee is, say I'm a runner with this issue, what I'm doing is every time I'm running, and I'm hitting the ground, whether my feet are planted in front of me or underneath me, every time I hit the ground, my knee goes inwards. Okay, and the same happens the other side. I can't stabilize my leg. It has, it's got the weaknesses there. So every time I plant the ground, the knee goes inwards. Now the reason this is happening is mainly because you've got a weakness in your glute med. Okay, so you've got a weakness around your glutes, your hips, your IT band can't stabilize this leg. It can't keep it straight. So as you hit the ground, the weakness is there, the knee collapses inwards. Now what happens on the opposite end of things is as your leg's moving inwards over time, over those thousands and thousands of reps, the muscles on the inside of your legs, your adductors become overcompensated. They're working far too hard. So they become strong and tight. They don't like these knees jerking inwards. So they try to save themselves from that. So they're becoming tight. These are becoming weaker they're becoming stretched, and that's why we call this an inward roll of the knee. So you're hitting the ground, you're going inwards. That's a phalgus collapse of the knee. Now what this is gonna end up doing is it's gonna give you knee pain, runner's knee pain. It's also gonna give you ankle pain. It's gonna give you pain in your hips, gonna give you pain in the back, and next minute you're out of running for months, weeks, years, or maybe that's you with running altogether, okay. So keep watching, I'm gonna give you some strengthening exercises so that down the line, you can rectify this problem. Okay, so if you're one of these um, runners with this issue of a phalgus collapse of the knee, or sorry, an inward roll of the knee, it's very simple um, exercises that we can do to try to rectify that over the coming weeks and months. So basically what you wanna be doing, I was explaining um, your adductors, the inside muscles, they're being worked too hard, they're being overcompensated, so they're becoming too strong. And that's why you're getting pulled in, um, particularly with the weakness on the outside of legs being there, okay? So your legs on the outside are weak, your legs on the inside are too strong, and that's what's coming in. So what we wanna be initially doing is stretching and foam rolling the inside of legs, but strengthening the outside of legs at the same time, okay? So, simple way that we wanna be um, stretching and rolling the inside of the leg is if you can get a foam roller, any type of foam roller should do, um, even a wee ball might do. So, what you wanna be doing is putting it on the ground, getting the inside of the leg, not so much your quad, get yourself a wee bit comfortable, and then all it is is just up and down. Okay, so if you've got tightness there, you should feel that straight away. But rule of thumb, which I always tell clients is, if you're feeling the foam roller and it's brutal, then you definitely need to be on it. So what I would probably do is about 30 seconds each leg. So I'd swap from my left leg into my right leg. And then all I'd do is while I'm sitting on the ground, feet are in close together, elbows in the knees, hands on the feet, and then you're gonna push it out. So you're gonna feel that extra stretch down your groin and into your adductors. Now, I would hold this stretch for about 15, 20 seconds, do it a couple of times. And then what I'd probably recommend is back onto your foam rolling, the inside of the leg, 30 seconds each side, 
and then back into your second time giving yourself that stretch. So after stretching and rolling and breaking up all those knots in the inside of your legs, in your adductors, what you want to be initially focusing on then is strengthening the outside of your legs. So what I said is the main muscle that's allowing that inward roll of the knee is your glute med, okay? So what you want to be doing, very simple, get yourself comfortable on the mat. Uh, the leg that you're not going to be strengthening first goes into a right angle. You can keep yourself whatever way you want. Um, just get yourself comfortable. So left leg, this side first is going up. Now what you need to be doing is, most important part is your toe then points downwards, okay? Keep that downwards and all you're looking to do for about 10 or 15 reps is lift the leg high and then drop it down. Lift the leg high and drop it down. Now my right leg isn't doing anything, it's all left side. And because of the downward point of the toe, I'm getting it into my glute med. So after about 10, 15 reps, what I would do is swap side and then maybe go back into a second time each side. Okay, and then last but not least, um, my final exercise, what I would recommend is a lateral lunge, preferably done with a band. So what you're gonna be doing uh, to get into position, your feet are shoulder width apart, your back straight, you're gonna go into like a wee quarter squat. And from there, eyes are up, you're gonna drive yourself out to the side and then back to the opposite side. Okay, so what I would do is recommend about 40 reps in this. You should feel it in your quad also, but initially what's happening is the outside of the leg is working hard to pull you outwards, okay? So you wanna be strengthening this area. Okay, and then to make it harder, what I would do is if you've got a band, you put your band on, make sure your band is just above your knee. And again, the strength exercise comes in stretching that band. Okay, so it's a wee bit hard hitting. Maybe start off with body weight first, and then as you progress, and as you start to become stronger and more confident, then you can add a band. So that's basically it. Um, trying to rectify a falgus collapse of the knee, the inward roll of the knee. So just making sure you're doing those exercises all the time. You're gonna be stretching and foam rolling the inside of your legs, your adductors, while strengthening the outside of your legs, but in particular your glute med. Now, doing those exercises, I would recommend probably give it about 10 minutes twice a week. Preferably, if you can do it before the run, it just makes, it'll give you a wee bit of a warm up, plus it'll make a run feel that wee bit different. Um, and then down the line, you might not need to do it as much, okay? So spend definitely about 10 minutes uh, twice a week. You can even do it in front of the TV if you're watching the film tonight. Okay, so um, until the next video, I'll see you again. If you can keep just logging in, watching the videos, the support's great, the feedback's great. And if you can hit like below, if you've liked this video, hit subscribe also, and there should be a wee bell icon. If you hit that as well, you'll be notified of any future content. Okay, so until next time, happy running, see you later.